back, folks. According to a recent study, over a third of Americans say their stress levels have increased over the last year. Obviously, that can hurt us mentally, emotionally, physically. So what can we do to change this growing pattern? Well, here to guide us is a stress coach and author, Nan Martin. And, and we appreciate you uh, braving the cold to be with us today. And, and you've brought some friends, too. Uh, Emily Andrews from Lexington Humane Society with a, a little de-stressor friend there. Yes, uh, we'll, absolutely. Uh, we'll talk about in just a bit. But, um, uh, Nan, this is a big topic, and this is something that everyone can relate to out there, is how do we wrangle the stress, get it under control, get it out of our lives as we're starting a new year here? Right, and you know, there's a th quick thing we can do. There's three things that we can do really quick. And one is not to overcommit. Mm. We overcommit ourselves, Boy, you know, put what's important on the schedule and let right. go of the rest. Mm -hmm. Just let it go. Then the second thing is just live in the present. St stop worrying about the past and the future because okay. we can't change the past. Right. We just can change the future by knowing what we want now. Very good. Very and good. So those are two things right there. And the okay. third thing would be uh, would be just then stop the negative self-talk. It's just mm -hmm. unproductive right. and you know it just brings us down and really wears on us. You should write those things down, just yes. pin them up on the desk, the <laughs> cubicle, wherever you are yes. and, and live by this. Um, and over committing yourself, I've found too that it's just it's sometimes hard for people to figure out how to say no. They, they don't want to be rude and they, they want, you know, in your heart you want to take it on, but then you realize, wow, I don't have any time left to, uh, for myself. Right, and to make your goals, especially this year, if you're wanting to do goals, you're going to have to know what is important and put those things on the list and do those goals and okay. put the rest behind you. Very good. Well, what are some other things that you do to help your clients in terms of uh, just letting go of, of, of stress and, and figuring out how to live a more productive life? Well, I came up with this erase formula. And the erase formula is a simple formula, and in the new book, there's even a where you can print it out to, okay. and to remind you every day. And erase is this: simply E is, e is for environment. Create a great environment. Mm -hmm. Eat right. Exercise. Get outside indoors. Okay. R is for rejuvenate. Get some rest. A is be aware of what your surroundings and okay. what you're bringing to that. Very good. S is have a strategy. And E is equip yourself with all the fantastic tools for stress. Fantastic. And one of these out of place and things have a <laughs> habit of uh, backing up on us. So. Absolutely. It, absolutely. You're wanting to try to create that, that balance and that equilibrium in your life. Mm -hmm. And those tools will help us do that. You Speaking know? of which, we, uh, that's a nice little segue into our little friend here. We've, uh, yes. we've got uh, uh, Emily from the uh, Lexington Humane Society who's brought along a, a fantastic little distressor. Absolutely. Who, Emily, who do we have here? Who's, who's our little friend? This is Elle. She's a three-year-old beagle chihuahua mix. She's available for pets um, for adoption out at PetSmart in Hamburg. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And, and Nan, what have we found with uh, uh, adding a, a furry friend into our life? What, what can that do for us? Oh, they've, the studies have been amazing. It's just mounting on how much it's helping us to de-stress in our life. As a matter of fact, one of the recent studies is showing that uh, within five minutes of being in the presence of an animal that our cortisol levels five are, minutes our stress hormones start to decrease wow what, Isn't that amazing with the, <laughs> uh, the few seconds we have left here Nan some other tools uh, easy to to get a hold of that can help us kind of just keep things keep things level what right. else can we look at? Uh, essential oils are great okay. all you need to do is smell those uh, meditation mm -hmm. um, Massage is great, and just simply breathing. Breathing. Everybody we needs forget, to remember. We forget that sometimes, don't we? <laughs> yes, we just forget take our. Take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. We all start holding our breath when we get stressed, and that definitely contributes to more stress. Wow, great advice across <laughs> the board, ladies. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate the good advice and uh, something to take to heart here, still in the new year. Yes, and everybody, you know, make it a stressless day. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Hard to do with the cold out there, but <laughs> yeah. stay inside, stay warm, and uh, we'll, we'll get through it. We Sounds appreciate great. it. Thank you. Well, we're back with more from Michael, who's on the move at the Hope Center, right after this. Stick around.